Well, I, I insisted we went back to Bad Hom. We went back to Homburg, and I asked around. I, I knew they must be legends, and they sent me towards the monastery. And when I came in, the priory sent me towards a certain monk. A canon monk, they called him, uh, whose special job was the unquiet spirits that are said to lurk on those hills. And he took one look at my ward and said, I will pray for you tonight, my dear. I will pray. And I sat up and the monk started to sing a holy song. He said it was an incantation to bring forth what could be seen. And as I looked, my daughter, who had fallen into a trance when the moon set, seemed to go rigid. And there was a whiteness that seemed to be coming down the window and into her chest. And as I watched, the monk lay a silver cross between that mist and her chest. If it gets to her, she will be dead. And worse than dead, he seemed to say. And we lay it on, and as we watched, the whiteness then fell back, and he ran, and I followed him as best I can, and we ran, it was like following a mist through mist. Sometimes we lost it, but always, you could almost smell it, a smell like old blood, and it led up into the hills, following a mist that was retreating like a hand, following a string, or a fate, or a spirit, down into a dark little gully. And when we went down into the gully, we could see ahead, there was a building, and as we watched, the mist went inside, and there was utter darkness. Well, the monk said, we can't go in tonight, but he, he lay on the door, a little piece of the holy host, and he marked the passage. We will go back there tomorrow at noon, with my niece, he said, and whatever men will come with us.